Some black Americans grabbed their phones to check a text and were met with racism. One man who wants to remain anonymous said this is an invasion of privacy for someone to send this text message to me and other young black voters shortly after the results of the election. It is not hard to see what the implications of this election will have on society. You no, know, and this is not a political issue. This is not if you're a Democrat or you're Republican. This is an American issue. This is an, an issue that the United States needs to deal with and that the law enforcement, you know, need to investigate and get to the bottom of. And we demand that these people be held accountable and be prosecuted as hate crimes. That was Will Anderson of the Black Political Empowerment Project. The FBI says it's in contact with the Justice Department. The Office of Attorney General says the messages serve no purpose but to spread hate. And the Pennsylvania Human Relations Commission is also aware, saying it's a trend impacting students in the Commonwealth. They say black students in school districts got the messages stating, quote, they were selected to pick cotton at the nearest plantation. They say the text can cause mental and physical harm to students. Anderson says he's concerned about his daughter in college. You know, when she sees these type of things, when she's trying to move forward and trying to not be reminded of what her ancestors went through, Right. And not just being be reminded of it, but having it looking like a reality. The NAACP Pittsburgh branch sent a statement saying in part such rhetoric perpetuates a legacy of oppression and exclusion that reaches back to Jim Crow, targeting the fundamental rights of black Americans to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. The Urban League of Greater Pittsburgh stated in part, these messages are a stark reminder of an ugly history, a history where black people were tortured threatened and killed simply for existing. Now, if you would like to see those full statements, just log on to our website, WTAE.com. Reporting live on the South Side, Chandy Chapman, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.